right, the box I'm using for the OBD2 is this here ELM config. It's got the switch on it. The switch gets you between HS can and MS can. So what you're going to want to do is plug it into your OBD2. Make sure it's good and secure. Because when these cables are transferring information, that something gets unplugged, you could brick your vehicle and, well, that wouldn't be good. So, make sure they're good and secure. Make sure the cables you're using are secure. Nothing's going to get in the way. Unplug anything. Things in the vehicle, people in the vehicle, pets, etc. Be real smart about this. Once it's plugged in, you'll see the red light comes on and you have access to the switch. Just make note that this direction was the HS and the other direction was the MS. The uh, software will actually tell you to switch it if it's not in the right one. At this time you got your computer fired up, you will have downloaded Forescan, installed it. I believe I paid for a uh, $10 for a year to unlock it, unlock it, which is what you're going to need to do to do all this stuff. So get some sort of unlock for it. Might be something you find that you're using more often and get a lifetime, but for me, I figured a year is going to be enough. If I, after a year, find that I want to use it more often, I guess I'll buy the lifetime. But uh, Alright, so you got that downloaded, you got the thing bought for it, uh, got your code, you got it entered. I'm sure you all know how to do all that. So you're going to put the uh, USB in to your PC. Hang on here. Put like two hands. Alright, so now we're plugged in. We're going to go to the Forescan software. Try to get these out of the sun. So. Okay, now you got the screen up and running. You get uh, or the software up and running. You can go here, go down to the connection, down there, you click it, okay, it says, make sure the key is on, in the on position, make sure the HSMS can switch, it switch to HS, which I did, and the vehicle's not moving. I leave that to display just because it's a good reminder. Alrighty, so now it's doing its check. Yeah, I don't know why it calls it this, but whatever. My truck's a 5.0. I don't give a shit. Okay. So we do have the adapter that has the switch. Okay, it'll tell us now to switch it. So I'm gonna reach down. Got it switched and click the OK. Alrighty, once that's gone through, then you go over to here and I scroll down to this IPC and I go to the mod configuration. Then I go down here and hit the play, and it reads this shit out. So it's got everything read out. So then we go to, um, let's see here. Oh, I gotta go over here to this arrow and scroll down. All right. Let me scroll down to. My key. Okay. You'll see that I've got volume limit. Yeah, there you go. Volume limit disabled, speed limit disabled. The report, I didn't know what that was about, so I left it enabled. The feature, I disabled it, so that to me says it's not even freaking there, and it isn't there. Emergency assist disabled. Yeah, so once you do that and you edit those, you'll write it to it here so yeah 